because we formed relationships. As Tracy likes to say, we had proximity. People knew us. What we started to see early on is that people would say, well, he's one of the good ones, right? You ever hear that? I like him, he's one of the good cops. So when I walk out of here, you know, in my history, you guys are gonna be like, he's one of the bad ones. <laughs> but he, he or she is one of the good ones. And we saw that grow into relationships where people felt comfortable talking to us, having conversations, not judging us just based on a uniform, but actually asking questions. Um, we don't always agree. Tracy and I don't always agree. We have some pretty heated conversations sometimes. But we always know that when we leave, we're both going to be better from it. So community policing is just policing. It's a balanced approach. And we have to have those relationships so that when we are at bay, when something bad happens, we can respond to that more effectively with the help of the community. Because as you can imagine, going to a homicide scene or a shooting scene or a robbery, if nobody saw nothing, which is what we get, then we don't solve it. And I think we currently have 10 unsolved homicides over the past five years in Columbia. So we have to build relationships and it's not rocket science. It really isn't. We, we like to slap labels on things, um, but really it's about forming relationships and there's some strategy in that but that's what I'm trying to do. So, my youth, my experience going through school, um, the struggles of paying through for school, the interactions I had with people on a personal level as a police officer, as an undercover police officer, have shaped my ability to have those relationships and look at them more objectively than just looking at someone and saying, he or she's a crackhead or dismissing them because of how they look. So things are a little different for me, um, but we all had. How many people in here thought I was going to get up here and say I was like, where am I going to military school as a kid? No way. I walk in here and y'all thought, here's another who's going to talk to me about things I should and shouldn't do. So now's the part for you okay with the time? Now's the part where I 